my name is Jenna Jones and I was chosen by Beachbody to be in the 30 day breakaway test group. So I started coaching back in March and I hit success club three months in a row. So they allowed me to be in the test group for hitting that goal. And I am so excited to start 30 day breakaway and start this journey and show you guys where it takes me. It's a program that has never been done by Beachbody. So here it goes. 30 Day Breakaway is a program that is a perfect mix of weightlifting and running. So it is building your lean and strong muscles while getting in a little bit of cardio. And so what you do is you do a 20 to 25 minute strength training and then you either hop on a treadmill or go outside for a run for about 20 to 25 minutes as well. It is a program that you aren't long distance running, which I've really enjoyed. I'm not a big runner, so the interval training is really helping me learn to enjoy the process of running. And when you go on those 20 to 25 minute jogs, you will get rest time and you can either walk or jog that out as well. And so it's really just a process of getting in that run and it's interval training. So it's not as hard as it may seem and anyone can do it. But I have been running outside and I have actually enjoyed it. I used to run on a treadmill in college, but the outdoors is has been so nice if you go in the morning because it's summer, but I have really enjoyed that. The only issue that I've had is on leg day, I had a little trouble running. That was my hardest running day was after leg day. So my legs were a little bit jello, but I did take recover and that helped a lot. My experience with running is not very much. I never really ran when I was younger or in high school. And then I finally got to college and I forced myself to run. I would run on the treadmill and I hated it. I just did it for cardio and it was not good. So I have, I don't have a really healthy relationship with running. And what I'm hoping is to gain a healthy relationship with running with 30 day breakaway and that I will enjoy to run after this program is over and to continue doing this program in the future. I also really want to become more lean. I'm a very muscle bound person. So I just wanna do strength training and cardio together so then I can be a very, have a very lean body. I, I just completed the first workout and run of 30 day breakaway and it was definitely difficult day one was but I did it and the run wasn't as bad as what I expected so that is good news but I know it can only get harder okay today was harder than day one. So I just did day three core and hit run and the hit run was so much harder than the day one run. Yesterday I slept in and then did my workout in the evening during day two to get a little bit of rest. Like I said that run was a lot harder than day one's. Day five was leg day and interval training. I honestly didn't know how I was gonna run after leg day. That was so hard. Um, even like with the interval training, we had to run at an RPE of five for three minutes. Long distance running isn't my thing. So I was struggling. Honestly, I was probably at an RPE of three or four. Um, I 
Um, don't know if it was because of the leg day or that it is day five and I am so sore, but this run was not as good as the others. So whew, I hope it goes better next week. Well, that workout was absolutely killer. I did not feel good this morning whatsoever. So the workout was not like, it didn't go very well, but this run, it's 90 degrees out and I just did a run. Rainy day cardio. I cannot believe that Adelius just killed my butt. Like there was so many burpees, are you kidding me? Whew. Um, so I did leg day first and that makes me sweat already, but then we had to do rainy day cardio and I think I'm sweating more than I was yesterday running in the 90 degree heat because oh, that was, it wasn't difficult. It was just like, like she was just kicking my butt. Wow. That was amazing. Happy day nine. On day 12 we just did abs fuerte and I finally hit the mark where I'm like I don't want to run so great mindset so I'm just we'll see how this run goes okay like I said I did not want to run today and it was the farlick picante run it was a struggle because you just run the entire time and I don't I don't do well without breaks so um I did keep an easy pace. It probably wasn't five to six. It was probably four to five that I kept the pace the whole time. But, um, so I did. And then um, towards round two, I would like walk a little and then I'd start the jog. Um, once she said rest after the 30 second RPE of seven. So I would rest a little, like not rest, I would walk a little and then I'd after like about 10 seconds I'd pick up the pace again so I did it after just two weeks of 30 day breakaway I feel less bloated more lean and more confident in my running ability so my running has increased so much since the first day. I feel like I can focus more on my breath work and that allows me to run for a longer extended amount of time. I am taking less rest time, so I'm walking less in between intervals and I'm trying to stay at a consistent jog during that rest time instead of taking a full on walk but I do feel like I can get more running done in that time. All right, I just did the hit run and that was a lot harder than the first time. I felt like the first time I really kept up but I was struggling today to keep it at those RPEs that she had suggested. When we got to eight and nines, I was struggling, but I think that's just because the first time I did the hit run, I was fresh into the program and just ready to go. And now I'm a little sore and legs are getting a little tired, but gotta push through. I just did the tempo run. It was very hard. I can feel my shin splints coming on and my legs are so tired. This is the third day running in a row and I'm like, my legs are just like hard to even pick off the ground to go like to do a run. So that one was really hard because it was consistent. So I tried to keep going. I was 
probably not at the RPE that I needed to be at. Um, but I just like, I just wanted to like keep going consistently, but I did take some breaks because my legs were hurting. So I did take a couple breaks. I'm being down on myself though. It was a pretty good run for me, like consistently. So we'll see. Good morning. I just completed easy run and strides. This is probably my favorite run so far. I could consistently run for the 15 minutes and then I really gave it my all there at the end for the 20 minute strides. So all in all, that was my favorite run. And I felt refreshed after that rest day yesterday, even though we had legs this morning, but yeah, definitely felt refreshed this time. Just did drop down recovery. I really enjoyed that run. I'm gonna be honest, I did walk the recoveries, but I'm just happy we got a recovery even if it was dropping down. Um, next time I'm gonna push myself to just keep a light jog the entire time and not a fast walk, but I was really sore and making up excuses, but I did it and then next time I will try to do a consistent jog. just finished meta spice and progressive buildups and I was not feeling 100% when I woke up this morning but I still got up and did it and the progressive buildups was pretty good um, I really like those kinds of workouts the short but intense ones so I really liked that one um, the only thing was is I really need to get better about not walking during the rest time I need to do a light jog instead and I think I've said that this entire time but I just really want to walk so maybe next time around I will try to jog that rest part out I just completed the fat blasting ladders and I think that's the best run I've ever done. I don't know if it was because I got to sleep in. It's a Saturday. So um, let's see what time it is. It's 9 30. So I only I started at 9. Um, so I got to sleep in and get my rest and didn't have to wake up at 5 a.m. to get my run in. So I felt like that had a little bit to do with it. Um, so I consistently ran almost the entire time. I only walked twice on the rest, the times that she said to rest. And yeah, it felt really good to actually consistently run and feel good while I was doing it. There went day 29, um, easy run and strides. Love that workout. I don't mind running at an RPE of three to four for 15 minutes. I really don't mind it. Like, so hopefully tomorrow's 5k goes really well. It is supposed to rain tomorrow. So I don't know what to do. Um, we will see what happens because it's supposed to rain and I need to get it done tomorrow. Uh, um, but today went so good. I am actually really nervous about the 5k tomorrow. I have never run a 5k. I built a really, not the best relationship with running. So this has definitely made me more confident in my running and enjoyed my running, but nervous about the length of time and it's not interval running. So I'm worried about the long distance, long distance. I'm really sad. I feel like it's 
Christmas Eve and I'm getting ready for Christmas morning to do my 5k tomorrow. I'm really sad that the program is ending, but I'm so excited to see my results and I'm ready for everyone else to enjoy this program like I have. I have been using Energize, Shakeology, and Recover for the whole entire 30 days. So I've been waking up at, at 5.15 in the morning to get my run in, my workout and my run in before work. So as soon as I pop out of bed, I get my Energize. And then I go, I do the strength training and the running. And then when I get home from my outdoor run, then I drink my Recover right away. And then for breakfast, I have my Shakeology. So I've been using all three. The Energize has helped me to get out of bed, get the strength training done, and then break away because I could not get up at 515 and do that without Energize. And then the Recover has really helped with my muscles. Um, I have felt a little bit of shin splints, but not as bad, especially with the foam rolling and with the Recover. I do drink the Recover every time after my workout. So it really does help and I haven't been really that sore. So, and then I've always drank Shakeology just for my di digestive health. I, health. I do have um, like stomach issues, so it has really helped with my di digestive system. And so I've always been drinking Shakeology for that reason, but um, I've really noticed the Energize and Recover kicking in for this program. I just did that. I am so proud of myself. There was a few times I walked, but honestly, compared to like the prep runs, I did not walk as much and I'm so proud of myself. Um, I've never ran a 5K, so I didn't really know what to expect. My husband looked up average times for 5Ks and he was like, you can do this, but I cannot believe I did it in 30 minutes. Um, thank you so much to 30 Day Breakaway for changing my thoughts on running. Can't wait to do it again.